Hey Math 85 students, uh, we're working through section 4.2. Um, now we're looking at dividing fractions. So let me give you the method and then I'll give you a model picture for why it works. Uh, the method is if you're dividing A over B divided by the fraction C over D, then um, the method is to multiply by the reciprocal of uh, the second number. So basically, every division problem can just be turned into a multiplication problem. This should be really familiar. Uh, recall that when we uh, talked about subtraction, we could rewrite um, every subtraction problem can be written as an addition problem. when we think about negative numbers. So for example, if I had something like uh, 7 minus 5, that could be rewritten as 7 plus negative 5, or the opposite of 5. So this should look really familiar. Basically what we're doing here is changing the operation from minus to plus, and if you do that, that changes the sign of the number. You do the additive opposite of 5, which is negative 5. So to do 7 minus 5, we do 7 plus the opposite of 5. So with uh, fractions, the multiplicative uh, opposite, the multiplicative inverse of a fraction, is the reciprocal of that fraction. Basically, you just flip it. The numerator becomes the denominator. Denominator becomes the numerator. So similarly, a over, e, a over B divided by C over D can be written as A over B times the multiplicative inverse, which becomes D over C. All right, and it's because we know how to multiply fractions, this is good news for us. So let me tell you why that works. Well, let's look an at an example, 3 divided by a half. A, every division problem like this asks, how many groups of a half are there in three holes? So here are my three holes, and um, to see how many groups of a half there are, I'll actually have to draw in the halves. So I'll take those three and chop them in half. So how many halves are there? Well, there's two halves in this hole, two here, and two there. Each hole has two halves, right? So basically, three divided by a half, how many groups of a half are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them, which is the same as if we were to take those three holes and multiply them by two or two over one, which is six. All right, let's do another example now uh, where we divide and simplify um, these fractions. Two-fifths divided by negative three-sevenths. Again, our procedure keeps the first number the same. Instead of divide, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of this number. So the reciprocal of negative three-sevenths is negative, flip it, seven over three. And now it's just back to uh, what we did with multiplication. How do you multiply these fractions together? Well, positive times negative is going to be negative. Let me put that on the outside. And um, to multiply fractions, multiply numerators together. 2 times 7 over 5 times 3. Do you see any common factors that can be uh, divided out? I do not. So I'll go ahead and multiply. Negative 14 over 15. And there we have it. So dividing is basically just multiplying. Let's do another example. Divide and simplify. Two-thirds divided by the fraction n over 5. All right, so don't let that variable confuse you. It's going to be the same procedure. We start with the two-thirds. And then we multiply by the reciprocal of the number, 5 over n. All right, so now to multiply these fractions, just write 2 times 5 in the numerator, 3 times n in the denominator. See if there's any common factors. There are not, so I'll go ahead and finish the multiplication. 
10 over 3n. And we're done. All right, one more example. Divide and simplify 7 over 18 divided by 14 over 27. So again, I'm just going to rewrite the problem and uh, change the division into a multiplication. So this becomes 7 over 18 times 27 over 14. All right, and now we'll see if there's anything that I can... Uh, that if I have any common factors. Between 7 and 14, do they have anything in common? Yes, they have a 7. So 7 divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is 2. All right, how about 18 and 27? Do they have anything in common? Any factors? Uh, turns out they have 9. 18 divided by 9 is 2. 27 divided by 9 is 3. All right, so let's go ahead and multiply all the factors that are left. There's nothing here, right? So there's an understood 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 fourths. Great. All right. Uh, go ahead and do your homework, the division problems, and let us know if you have any questions.